you guys, CC Clemens, aka Vibin Weirdo. How's it going? Fantastic. The Nun 2 review. So getting into it, I was excited because I just like to go to the movies. I'm a movie crackhead. The last one was not my favorite, not one of my favorites in the Conjuring franchise and was pretty underwhelming how it played out. I've only watched it once. And it actually wasn't until I watched the recap of it before I watched the second one that, oh, it did go over the story of kind of like of the nun and like the origins in a way, but it wasn't memorable. Like I completely forgot. Like, oh, they did, but it wasn't satisfactory. So getting into it, I was like, okay, they were able to make a second one. Hopefully they listened to the criticism of the first and they absolutely did that. This movie was so much better than the first one. I don't want to spoil like kind of when things pick up and all of that. I want you to have like the best experience possible um, without ruining it. They delved into the story a lot more and of course made connections with the main characters. Taisa Farmiga is excellent. She was in the first one. She is also Vera Farmiga, which is the lady that plays Mrs. Warren in the Conjuring franchise sister. They look very, if you really just look at them, they look so much alike. So I am still curious to see if there's some sort of connection there, given that this is a prequel to The Conjuring. Storm Reed, absolutely loved her. I've been a fan of her since Euphoria. Love to see her in this and she did a great job. The cast as well, the whole cast was great. The acting was, was good. Oh, yeah, the acting across the board was was fantastic. Kind of like the first one. The, the first one, everything was great except that story and, and the scare factor, but, but this one definitely made up for what the first one lacked. There were some jump scares in there for me personally. My dad, no, not for him. So like, it just depends on the kind of person you are. There were some CGI moments that weren't super strong, but overall, they did, a, they did a really fantastic job with having that eerie, sinister look of the nun. They did a really great job. Definitely didn't scare me as much as it did in the appearance of The Conjuring 2. That's still the scariest movie of all timeliness for me. I might never get scared like that again. I kind of don't want to. That one had me going to sleep with the lights on. There was also a scene that you saw in the trailer with the like the magazine or the book cover flips. It's like, this is what cinema is right here. Being able to sit down and watch a scene like this, like literally unfold, like the pages flipping. It was, it was awesome to see. Directing, of course, was, was very great. It was like a lot of moments, I'm like, that's a nice shot, that's a nice shot. And even just the nun herself, for itself. But overall, I love this movie. And for me, the best horror film this year it was Evil Dead Rise. But now this is up there for me. Just not the scariness, but the just the, the, the thrill, the, the action. Like just, it, it was so good. And the way they just connected things together was done so freaking well. And I was like, this is what you're supposed to do. Shame. I had a blast. I had an absolute blast with this. This was worth a trip to the movies. Absolutely. I would definitely check this out. Do not, y'all do, don't watch scary movies on streaming for the first time. Unless you like, you don't have a choice. But if you have a choice and, and you're able to check, check something like this out at the theaters because just being able to see it on a big screen with surround sound in a dark area with like no distractions is just a whole different experience. If, if you want to be scared, if, if you want to add to the scary element, you know, you, that's what you do. But if not, you know, it is what it is. So those are my thoughts. Let me know yours in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You guys have a great day. Peace. Sure you can.